Hey, how's it going everyone? Justin again, as always, thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. Today we're gonna talk about a product that I meant to do a review on a couple months back. I just never really got around to it. We're gonna be talking about the new Husky Digital Torque Wrench and how it compares to the old school click style torque wrench. And we'll even talk about some of the more modern features that are you can expect from a digital torque wrench and how they're different than the Husky product. That being said, let's roll right into it and take a look. All right, so at first glance, you can see it comes in a pretty nice rugged case. Uh, there's another shell over here that connects with two um, pinned plastic pins that connect in there. The lid comes over and closes like so. I don't want to fully connect this thing because I'm not 100% committed yet. We're wanting to check out this tool and see how it looks. Uh, but basically, it would sit down somewhere like that, and then these would be your locks to lock it in place. So pretty nice, pretty rugged case that it comes with. Uh, overall, really happy about that and impressed with the packaging. Uh, let's go ahead and pull this torque wrench out and check it out. All right, so, so far it looks pretty stout, pretty beefy. Uh, the weight is definitely there. Feels like a pretty heavy duty torque wrench. Let me get a screwdriver real quick. So in case you're wondering where the battery location is, it's going to be right here and this little closed shell will take a peek at what style of batteries this thing takes to run. Let's take that little screw out, slide it open, and as you can see it takes those two small, almost hearing aid style batteries, and that's all that it needs for this digital torque wrench to function. So we'll put the little screw back in so we don't lose it. There we go. All right, to power it on, all we gotta do is press and hold this red button. You can see there right now, we are set at 19 foot-pounds. Uh, not really completely well lit. Would have liked to have seen some kind of LED uh, light, even if it's a small one, to illuminate it. But, I mean, it's, it's not one of the most expensive torque wrenches in the world, but it's pretty cool. Uh, so, I would have liked to have seen a small LED incorporated in that. We can change it to inch pounds, foot pounds, newton meters, and it looks like kilograms. Um, to adjust the foot pound or inch pound measurement, you simply pull out on the rear portion of the torque wrench here on the handle, and as you rotate it clockwise, it will turn up the foot pounds that you want to set for. So we'll turn it back down here just for S and G, down to 19 foot-pounds. Nope. Get it to lock in here at 19 foot-pounds. Hang on. I guess you have to pull it all the way out. Too much. And oop, too little. Somewhere in there. Okay, cool. So a little bit temp temperamental, uh, but not bad, not a bad way of adjusting it. Let's take a look at a click style torque wrench and see some similarities here that I noticed uh, with the turning style. So before, and this was the same thing as the old Husky click style that I have, but this one happens to be Matco, you'd have to pull down on this handle and turn it up to whatever desired setting that you wanted. Now the similarities here between these two so far, uh, this this Matco one, and same again, it's almost identical to the Husky one that I had before, uh, covers from 5 foot-pounds to 75 foot-pounds. This digital torque wrench covers from uh, 5 foot-pounds to 80 foot-pounds. So now let's take it over to uh, an engine stand, and we'll attempt to torque a bolt and see what it does. Alright, so first I thought I'd start off with the click style type uh, torque wrench, the Matco one, uh, just to kind of compare the two uh, but with the click style type what you can expect is as you're pushing down on the handle you'll hear a metallic click 
to let you know that it's torqued to that specification. So right now, I have this one set at 19 foot-pounds. And you can hear that, that click. We'll grab the Husky one now and see what we can expect from a digital style torque wrench. Let me power it on. Okay, we are set to 19 foot-pounds. Huh. Much of the same exact concept there. We got a metallic click. Now, those of you that have seen my snap-on torque wrench video, and I'll try to put a card up here or over here somewhere, uh, you know that when you go to press down on that digital torque wrench, you usually get a buzz, or maybe some LED lights that light up to let you know that you've reached that torque spinning. Uh, so it would go zzz, and then that would let you know that you've reached that. But not with this Husky one. It's It acts just like a click-style torque wrench. Now... Looking at that, it's set for 19 foot-pounds. Another thing that I can do with the uh, snap-on digital torque wrench is that when I go to, uh, to torque it down, if I accidentally go over torque, it would let me know right here on the digital display screen how much I over torqued it. Um, but let me go ahead and we'll do that with this. And it is not moving at all. It's not letting me know. Let me see if I can lower the camera down so you guys can see it. All right, so now I'm gonna try to attempt to over torque. There's the click, and I'm going past 19 foot-pounds, and the digital display screen stays the exact same. All right, so what do we think? <clears throat> well, what I think is is that uh, I kind of expected a little bit more, but I'm not too, in, too terribly disappointed in the product itself. I think it's a good product. I've used Husky in the past. I've had their torque wrenches in the past. The torque uh, is, it torques just the same as, you know, any Matco or Snap-on. Some, of course, are a little bit more expensive when you get up into the name brand stuff like Snap-on or Matco. Uh, to give you a for instance, the Husky digital torque wrench comes in at $100. The uh, click style torque wrench uh, from Matco comes in at around two something. And then if you get into the the digital torque wrenches from Snap-on and stuff like that, you're looking at close to about five bills. So pretty, pretty significant difference in pricing, which could be the reason why there are some limited features on this digital style torque wrench from Husky. Some things that I would have liked to have seen, of course, would be the, the lit LED background. Would have been nice to have like a little LED light, maybe the to kind of just over exaggerate the figures inside of it. Um, some things that I would have also liked to have seen would have been maybe like an over torque spec. So if you do go past that torque, it might show you a new number. Uh, but we're, again, we're getting into the high tech uh, digital engineering, which is probably why those those higher end ones cost so much. Uh, didn't really don't really need a vibrating feature. That's an added feature. Some people like it. Some people don't. Uh, it wasn't my favorite for the longest time. I, I like the click style torque wrench. It's interesting that they kept that click style with their digital version. Would have liked to have seen the over torque though. That would have been nice. Uh, another thing that I kind of would have liked to have seen out of it would have been maybe like the plus or minus adjustments here. But that's okay. You know, it's a you, you spin the knob. It still shows you, you know, how many... Um, foot-pounds or newton meters you're going to adjust it by which is actually kind of nice that it has that knob versus this style here where the range for newton meters uh, gives it to you and their specification for instance it's like 13.3 uh, then it jumps to 44.1 then it goes 50.8 then 57.6 so you really don't get to select the exact setting that you're looking for newton meter wise on a click style torque wrench whether it's from Matco, Snap-on, or Husky. Uh, but with the Husky Digital Torque Wrench, you can actually set those figures to the exact figure that you want uh, just by adjusting the knob. So that's actually a nice feature. Not bad for $100. Let me, get, let me know what you guys think down in the comment vlog. Um, do you like this style of torque wrench? Do you own this style of torque wrench? What's your experience with it, if you have any experience with it at all? Uh, let me know what you think. What are some features that you might have liked to have seen out of this digital style torque wrench? For uh, my opinion, as far as the, the torque wrench goes, the Husky torque wrench that we're talking about, I, I give it a thumbs up. You know, I really do. I give it a, I give it a one thumbs up. Not necessarily two thumbs up, but I give it a thumbs up. 
I think this can still be used in a professional setting for DIY, for uh, weekend warrior use, whatever the case may be. I think this is going to be a good torque wrench. Just I would have liked to have seen a few added benefits. Uh, even if the torque wrench cost a little bit more than what they currently sell this one for, to add those features and benefits, I would have liked to have seen those incorporated. So that's all I got for this video, guys. Thanks as always for watching. Make sure to hit the thumbs up if you like this video, the thumbs down if you did not like this video. Share it if you want to. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.